I bring you to our table? Did I call you to our table? I did, didn't I? How did we actually meet? Because I was like, try, I was trying to actually think about it today. I was like, did I call you to our table? Did I tell someone that I was on? You told someone. Okay, who did I tell? Because I know that I always wanted to meet you. You told somebody in our uh, Geisha, right? Did yeah, I ask if you were there? Told somebody. I can't remember. I, and honestly, then I went up and I was. Um, because, oddly enough, it's so weird. What a fucking weird world this is. Oddly enough, like, your season, no offense to you guys, but. I, I came off my thing, my thing was bad. Right. Next year, I knew about Kiara. Right. And I knew about Lisa, and I had to watch. And I watched. And I experienced every negative feeling right. from the year before, and I very much had a hard mind thing. So Robert came to Dolce. I remember it's all coming back. Robert came to Dolce and was like, "Hey, da, da, da. I was like, I was on, and I was so not in a Marcellus or a Will cool way. Oh. I purposely disconnected myself, and I, I feel bad about it now that I did, but I was like, I couldn't." I just, there was no turning back for me. I had to just let it go. And um, that's why I watched a little of five, and I watched a lot of six because I got sucked back into it. But, because Diane and Savage did the same thing. They made a negation multiple times, at least three times, and ran up on me, and I was like, not too into it. And I feel stupid for being that way now, but. Then I sat down at your table, and I remember you came with with her like four times, three or four times between Bella and there. And every single time, I would sit down at your table for like two hours and laugh and joke around. And I was just like, I don't do this. You know what I mean? Like in my little owner entertainer mode, I come to the table, everything good, blah 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 blah, haha. But there was something that would make me. And I remember a couple of the nights. Because I'm pretty, I'm very cut and dry. I'm either fucking let's party and do this, or I'm working and I'm going home and I don't even want to have a cocktail or whatever. And I remember at least two, if not three of those nights, was it Heather? Heather. You came and I was in shutdown going home mode. And I stayed an extra hour longer you know, just on like the, I don't even know how to put it in words. I don't get like that. Like I don't, I don't just sit down with anyone and I'm not saying I'm simple brain, like, oh, you should be crazy in my presence, but <laughs> it takes a lot to intrigue me. You know what I mean? Because I see it all in here. You know, you bartend, you, you're kind of, you have to put up those walls of like, right. I'm here for the money and I'm here for the, I'm not here to really connect with these people. Right. So when you guys came in and it wasn't, it wasn't Heather. <laughs> I mean, she's nice and fun, and she was a great coach of mine, but... So, I don't know, I mean, you say, I wish we didn't have this, but... but I wish we would we That was the bond. I know, but what I'm saying is that I wish... I only wish that we didn't have this because the first night I met you, I was like... I was still with Josh, and I remember saying to myself, like, I could definitely be in trouble because I'm. I find myself really being attracted to this person. Wait, and you didn't I had tell a, Heather. No, I mean I said I was like she's like who is that and I'm like I'm like he was on season two Big Brother and I was like I think I'm in trouble because because what happened was is that I remember you sat down at our table and we we're talking and I was thinking to myself I'm really attracted to this person and then I was like. Now I have to tell him that I have a boyfriend and that my boyfriend is this Josh person. And then I was like, I really didn't want to do it. And I remember it was like kind of the last thing in our conversation that you had sat down and I was like, I really don't want to tell him I have a boyfriend. It was horrible because I was like, I can't believe that I'm actually worried about having to tell him that I have, I'm Yeah, because why should you? He's I know, I'm like, I'm yet. definitely in trouble because I'm... I'm now worried that I have to tell this person I don't want to tell this person I have a boyfriend because I'm somewhat very intrigued by him. Um, and then I remember I was like, I'm so tired to tell him. I'm like, 
Yeah, yeah my boyfriend is actually Josh. And then, and then I went home that night and I was like, God, it was, what a horrible feeling that I feel like I... What I'm was really, Heather saying? I didn't really tell Heather. Uh, I, was just, I was just more like, in my own head, I was kind of almost like, I'm in trouble. I'm like, I shouldn't, obviously, if you have a, if you have a boyfriend that you've been with for so long, you shouldn't be... Right. You shouldn't be intrigued by someone else Five that years. much. That much. You know. It's probably a little, a little shocking for you. It's definitely shocking. Because, you know what, honestly, Cookie, it's never happened to me when I've been with Josh. The only time it's ever happened was with you. Did you tell your mom? Did I tell my mom? Yeah. That what, that, that it happened? Yeah. I didn't tell, honestly, I didn't tell anyone. Because I was like, I, I kind of just internalized it, and I was like, well, maybe it's just because, you know, people are just attracted to other people, and that's just kind of how it is, and maybe it's because we're apart, and I just kind of like, I brushed it off, and then I was like, well, I kind of always put it back in my mind, like, well, okay, I, maybe I should not go to Geisha, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go to Geisha anymore, because obviously there's something that is drawing me to this person. Well, that obviously didn't happen because I went to Geisha like a bunch more times. I don't know. You weren't even there a few times. Yeah. I always come. You're like, hey, I'm here. I'm like, where's oh, Mike? Fuck, I went home. I know. And I was like, well, all right, well, I probably should stop doing this. Based on your personality, you could take it late in the streets. Like, if you were there a few nights, like 1230. And I know, like, but I What didn't... were you doing earlier in the night? Well, I, <laughs> I, I People didn't... think I'm the wild guy, but I was actually already home at I bed. know you were. I was like, well, I didn't want to be like... Know, like, I mean, what were you doing before? Were you out in other places or um, you bar hop or what do you do? No, I think I was like out to dinner and then I was kind oh, of like, well, I want to go to eat, you know, like trying to. Yeah. Um, I mean, definitely there was something that I felt. When did you tell your mom? About you? Yeah. Well, the casting special? No, the, the day Josh broke up with me, he broke up with me May 17th. I figured, well, there's definitely, I felt like there was something there with you. And you were the first person I called. But are you like that girl that like needs to go from relationship to relationship? No, because no. I felt like, I felt like it wasn't like I had to go from relationship to relationship because I've definitely been, been on my own. But I felt like that there was, that I felt like there was something there with you that I didn't want to um, like goodbye. And I wanted so to. So when you I when to you explore. brought your mom to Big Wangs, what did you say? <laughs> um. Well, she knew that I had already obviously. You were like, "Hey, we're going to this thing." I was like, "We're going to go," you know. And then you got up on the table, and you did your thing, and then she looked at me, and I was like, was "Like he's really cute." And I'm like, "I know it's it's really it's bad." <laughs> So, even when I was talking to Jonah today, I was like... Today? Mm -hmm. I was like... Or yesterday? Yesterday. I was like, was that unexpected? She's like, well... He goes, well, you know, I know everything, right? Oh, oh okay. that's right. Because he was there from the beginning. He was, yeah, exactly. Was like, Wait, well, you said you know what's unexpected. I was like, did you think that Mike and I... Was um, that like an unexpected thing? He's like, oh, come on. He's like, I know everything. <laughs> He's like, come on. He's now. like, the things I can tell you is September 13th. <laughs> uh, He's like, come on now. I was like, oh, right. No, I mean. Your mom likes Kaser. <laughs> you gotta get her some Kaser on September 14th. <laughs> I always say I don't need people in my life. I like I like people in my 